Good afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update from the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I am Oscar Sinclair. We've been talking a lot um, at our services at the church over the last couple weeks about how the, the role of the church now is really about connection, how finding ways for people to connect is our first priority as an institution, our second priority, our third priority, and our fourth priority. And so I want to talk about two ways to do that very practically today. The first is if you're a member or friend of our congregation, um, please sign up for the UU Connects group that we have forming right now. Um, our sign up went out yesterday uh, via eBlast, and it's a great way to stay connected with each other um, and to connect to people that you might otherwise not get to know in the church. The thing uh, that I've been doing personally uh, for connection is is enjoying time uh, to reach out to old friends and colleagues from around the country because we're all trying to figure out this out pretty much simultaneously as we make this this move towards a different way of doing church and so we've been leaning on each other quite a bit and I've started recording some of these conversations that I'm having um, and we'll be posting them to this YouTube channel at five o'clock on Tuesday afternoons. The first one up this afternoon is Reverend Ned White. Uh, Ned was the longtime director of the Veach program, one of the largest funders in Unitarian Universalism, and an organization that's done a lot of very practical good in the world. Um, he is also a minister's minister. There's a role in ordinations and installations uh, called the marshal. And the marshal's job is to be a sheepdog for all the gathered clergy, making sure that everybody is in the right place at the right time, uh, that they stay in their allotted time limit. Uh, it is a thankless job because clergy do not like getting herded. Ned was the marshal at my ordination, and he did it with his usual style and grace, so much so that the gathered clergy all seemed to be very cheerfully in their right places and, and under their time limits, almost without effort or without apparent effort. Last Friday, he and I talked about hope, where he finds it in this moment, how he, fi how he holds onto it from day to day. So I hope you'll join me. Uh, we'll have the video up and running at, uh, at about five o'clock. Um, and like Sunday morning, I'll be present in the chat box running alongside. And what I'm going to try and do as I post this video is put a link to it right here. So you can click on it and go straight to the video if you're watching this after five. So I'll be there uh, live as it premieres. No promises, but Ned might be there as well, depending on what his schedule is, uh, if you have questions for either one of us. So we hope to see you there. Best wishes.